Hi, it's Paul in Perth here again, and today we're gonna to do another job on a VL Mazda 3. As you can see, this wing mirror here has come off a different vehicle, but I've got the correct one here, and I thought it'd be a great opportunity to show you how to change them over. There's only a very small amount of tools that we need to do this job. We need uh, an eight millimeter, and you're gonna need an eight millimeter socket as opposed to an eight millimeter spanner, just because of the, the recess that you're working in there's one particular eight mil bolt, which is this one here. And when we get inside the car, what you're gonna find is that that's in such a difficult position that not only do you need a socket rather than a spanner, it needs to be a really narrow socket. So you can see here, I've used a quarter inch. I've gone from half inch to three eighths inch to quarter inch. I'm doing it on a drive um, to get them off, but when it comes time to put them on, I'm gonna use a hand tool. And the reason for that, is um, these have a lot of torque. And if I use that much torque on something that's plastic, I'm, I'm probably going to break it. So let's head on in and let's, let's have a look at the job. Oh, sorry, I didn't finish the tools, did I? Okay, you're also gonna need a, um, a flathead screwdriver and you may need a 90 degree pick. So let's go in and, and look at the job. It's really easy, it's literally a five minute job. So taking the flathead screwdriver, just put it inside that trim and just peel that back, and then down the bottom, peel that back. What you'll find is there are two lugs, and by doing that, you'll lift them off. If you give it a little bit of a yank, you'll find that the um, speaker will come out of the speaker um, the grip there, and you'll, you'll be able to get it off. Now you've got these three bolts that are holding it on. The hard one is this one here, so we'll do the hard one first. And what you'll notice is I actually have to bend a bit. So I'm gonna put it on, I'm gonna bend down, and then get it out. The other two, you've got a lot better access to, so they're gonna come out really simply. And then what you're left with is this, um, this connector. So what we're gonna do is while I pull it from the other side, I'm gonna press down on this tab and just get that connector to disconnect. So pull it through, pressing down on the tab, and away we go. So we've ended up, there's our electrical connector there, and we're all good. So that's half the job already done. Now we um, grab our new one. Come over here, put the electrical connector on. So just line up that electrical connector. Cam's a little bit tricky. Let's get it lined up. There we go, we're on. Get the uh, locating pins to line up. Where's my locating pins? There we go. And now on the other side, I'll just get started with these bolts here. Now, as I said, I'm not gonna run them all the way in with the, um, the power tool, because there's a good chance I'll damage something, but it's okay to get them started. So I'll just get those two started. Get the third one, which is the tricky one. I'll just get that started as well. And then I'm gonna finish them off with a hand tool. So, Grab my eight mil and tighten these three up. That's good. That last one's gonna be the tricky one. Good. With this, just line up. It's, it's this section here where the, um, the elbow, if you like, of the, the speaker needs to go. So just press that in, put your two, connecting lugs there, and there you go. So, really easy job, doesn't take very long, well worth the effort. So if this has helped you, please like and subscribe. Please write in the comments what country you're from and, um, and say good day. Look forward to seeing you next time from Paul Perth. Thank you so much, see you later.